<laughs> I do not drive lightly when I go four-wheeling. Um, I like to go fast. After I was done, my back would lock up. I would sit and that's where I would stay because I hurt so bad. When I saw Stacy in neurosurgery clinic, she presented with years, years of back pain. I snow ski and that was getting harder and harder for me to do. She also had pain radiating down her left leg. Couldn't stand for a long period of time. Strength was gone. I, it was debilitating. I wasn't having fun and I needed to do something so I can start having fun again. I had lots of questions when I talked to him. We were in the consultation for almost over an hour. Lumbar MRI revealed a disc herniation, which is when the disc space fails and a piece of it breaks off. Oftentimes it'll pinch a nerve. He was very clear. He um, suggested putting the device in my back to help separate the bones because I don't have any bone marrow in there. I trusted him well enough to do what he had to do to get me on the right path. The surgery is a minimally invasive transforaminal disc fusion. Because I can do surgery through a tube this big, I can come in obliquely through a hole in the side of the spine and access the pathology directly. So unpinching a nerve is great, but fixing why the nerve was pinched, this is a fix. This will last presumably forever. But even more important, I'm able to put a shim, a wedge, and replace the disc. And he explained everything on how it would work and would actually become part of my back, so there would be no slippage, no problems there. And this results in restoring the disc space height. And by restoring the disc space height, I'm restoring tension to the cables. And that makes a weak joint stronger right now. Restoring the alignment by improving the curvature of the joint, the other disc spaces will function better. Instead of carrying the weight on the back of the spine through screws and rods that are often required with traditional back surgery, this results in a more natural weight distribution. Because I'm not removing a bunch of tissue, a bunch of bone like laminectomy, Patients are able to potentially go home day of surgery. I was in the hospital for less than 24 hours. I was actually back to work within uh, just over two months. I'm just thankful I came across this doctor and this device, and it's made a world of difference in my life. Stacy was able to resume activity, even intense activity. Within four months, I was riding my four-wheelers. <laughs> without any residual pain. We strengthened, we added, we restored through a minimal access surgery. I am finally back to where I was 20 years ago, um, just a little older. <laughs>